deserves how to use negative monsters or eating oh, up no. your optimism and your confidence. When you keep failing to meet your project goals, when you keep getting into arguments with your people, have you ever felt like you're helpless, you're out of control, you cannot do well in anything? That is called learned helplessness. But the same psychologist who invented this term also invented another term, learned optimism. You become what you give attention to. We cannot control what happens in our lives, good or bad. But what we can fully control is what we give attention to when obstacles happen. Some people tend to give attention to the things they cannot control. And some people give attention to the things they can control. Our brain is a creature of habit. So when we face obstacles again, it will take the same path until it's a beaten path. That's how some people become helpless and some people become optimistic. Now, how do we become optimistic? Here's Dr. Segment's ABCDE method. Step one, record your negative thoughts. Identify your ABC, which stands for adversity, belief, and consequence. Adversity could be I failed to meet my project goal. And your belief of that adversity could be I'm so bad at leading and organizing. And a consequence of that belief is I feel embarrassed and I wasn't even productive at work today. You try recording them for a week and observe how to use negative monsters or eating oh, up no. your optimism and your confidence. Step two is your D and E's, which is dispute your negative thoughts and energize yourself for a change. The D and E's is the mighty sword you can fight your negative ABCs with. To dispute your negative thoughts, you gotta change the way you talk to yourself. Again, it's hard to steer away from the beaten path our brain is used to. So here are two key questions you can ask yourself next time you're thinking negative thoughts. First, is this belief useful? Second, is this an awful implication? If you're thinking that you're not good at leading, Ask yourself again, is this belief useful? Is it functional? No, it's not a constructive feedback that helps you in any way. Is this an awful implication? Yes. Meeting a few goals doesn't mean that you're not good at leading. It could just be for external reasons, like recently you have too much on your plates. After disputing your thoughts, you, kn you know the cause of the problem and you energize yourself for a change. You know that you're having too much on your plates. So now you're trying to plan your time better and plan your goals better. One interesting root cause for helplessness or even depression, Dr. Seigman discussed it. Depression stems partly from the overcommitment to the self and undercommitment to the common good. Because when we're too focused on our own adversity, we miss out on how common that problem could be. There are so many people out there could be going through the same problems. In his tips, try to do things for other people as much as you can. This may not be the ultimate solution to your problem. Doing something that's bigger than myself, helping other people out, indeed made me feel better. And when I see comments discussing about my content is actually helpful to them, that genuinely makes me feel good. Thank you my friend for watching this video. Let me know what you want me to talk about.